Jack Payne, Grow Team Advisor with Co-op, and I'm at our extreme trial at Horseshoe Canyon. One of the treatments or blocks that we've got here is what we call our high intensity wheat. And the last few years has been a lot of interest in how to achieve optimum wheat yields along with high quality and, and high protein. And so it's a bit of a juggling act to try and get all the variables in place and your inputs in place to be able to have both good yield and high quality protein. So we're looking at a number of variables that we can uh, work with here. And of course, nitrogen fertility is one of them. Uh, you need nitrogen to build protein. Um, at the same time, if you push the nitrogen too hard, the crop, you'll usually end up with some lodging problems. So how do we manage that? Well, one of the ways to manage the high nitrogen uh, potential for lodging is to use a plant growth regulator. And so uh, at our trials here, we've, we've applied a, a, a PGR called Modus. It's a new product that's coming out of, out of the market from Syngenta. Hopefully we'll be on the market uh, next year. And so we're looking at that. So first of all, when we look at our, our plots, first of all, growers are somewhat uh, surprised to find out that they really have to go with really ultra high rates of nitrogen fertilizer to get high protein. Uh, some of the work that Sherry Stridehorst has done has indicated that you need to be looking at in excess of 120, 130, 140 pounds of actual nitrogen to be able to invoke a change in protein to build those levels, especially in central Alberta. Now, when we push those levels, we run into issues, like I say, with, with lodging. So what we did at our site, we had some fairly high nitrogen levels here at the site. And so on the plots behind me, uh, we applied about 115 pounds of actual nitrogen in, uh, in a sideband to the plots. And as well, uh, what we're looking at is actually pushing a couple of the plots to even much higher. And so, for example, the one behind me, we've actually applied 145 pounds of actual nitrogen uh, in a sideband. Now, in some cases, it's not feasible to put that much nitrogen through uh, an air seeder in, in your fertilizer blend. So what we looked at then was split application. And so a couple of our plots here, actually what we did is we put down 115 pounds of nitrogen sideband. And then what we did is we came in uh, with an enhanced efficiency fertilizer like Anvol and top dressed another 30 pounds on top of that to be, get back to that 145 pounds. So that's one way to manage that. But we just wanted to show you the, the results that we're getting with the, with the plant growth regulator. Uh, we applied uh, MODIS at growth stage 30, 31 and 32 uh, on the Zadox scale. And so this is basically the wheat that we've got uh, that did not get a, a PGR next to what we applied the MODIS. And some people would say, well, the one on the right maybe is farther advanced. No, when you look more closely, both of these uh, treatments, the heads are just coming out of, emerging out of the, out of the boot. So we can really see that the MODIS has shortened up the straw um, significantly. And this will probably be more pronounced as the plants continue to grow and, and, and reach um, full, full maturity. So just, uh, just an overview of some of the things that we've done at Horseshoe Canyon.